what's up guys welcome back to another video guys today we are reviewing the one and only and i did not know that this guy's name was this long fantasy fc pedro antonio poro salcedo don't know if i butchered that but we picked him up for twenty one thousand smackaroonies so right off the bat i don't think um this card's gonna be particularly great but i thought i'd do a review anyway not sure if it's just because i'm a spurs fan and i just wanted to review this card but it does actually look good um so yeah i just thought why not but 87 rated guys 90 pace 80 shooting 83 passing which i believe should be a lot higher than that for pedro poro um 87 dribbling 81 defending 83 physical Five for eight, high, high attack and defensive work rates. Four star, four star. Looks, looks decent. Pl can play right back, right wing back, as we already know. And he has scope to get upgraded. Now, the only problem is Tottenham don't uh, typically keep clean sheets. So that player achieves one clean sheet in the next four games. I know it's four games, but I, I really don't think they're going to keep a clean sheet. Um, club wins two games in the next four games they've already won one against crystal palace so i do think he will get that upgrade um but then we move on to the player makes three appearances in the next four games now he is currently injured but i think he is going to come back next week uh, um which will be good because then he will definitely make three appearances um out of the four games which is good and then club scores 11 goals in the next four games uh not too sure about that one guys but play styles he's got the whipped pass plus which ea love to give every single one of the fullbacks this this fifa which is a bit of a shame because i would have thought they'd leave it for the better passes in real life but obviously not but defending play styles guys jockey intercept slide tackle bruiser like those are really good play styles and then he's got ball control um technical rapid and relentless so those are really 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 good play styles and the play style plus you can't really go wrong so yeah will be interesting to review this just because we picked it up for 21k um we are going to be playing it in a 4-3-2-1 he is going to be on probably stay back while attacking um overlap but he will i'll definitely get some attacking segments um from the gameplay which i'll show you guys so anyway make sure you smash the like button sm um smash the like button smash the like button what am i on about smash the like button subscribe to join the family if you haven't already done so and yeah let's let's just get straight into the gameplay guys yes poro go on go lovely yes poro make that run nice oh tackle lay that off lovely smaller wreck let's go brilliant interception that poro is on it Oh, that's beautiful, Poro. That's brilliant, Pedro. Go! Oh, no. Tried too much with him there. Go on, Poro. You know what? Whip that to McManaman. <gasps> oh. Oh, 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 oh. Brilliant, Poro. Oh, another great interception, man. Back all. Go on, Poro. Oh, no, Poro. That is poor. Oh, oh my God. See it out. See it out. 
It's another great interception or tackle, sorry. Okay guys, so that concludes the Pedro Poro Fantasy FC review. Now we did actually play nine games instead of 10 because the first game, as soon as I loaded into the game, it got disconnected and I just thought to myself, you know what? Let me just leave it. I got the loss, whatever. Um, but 21,000 coins guys, um, I think is a bargain for this card. Now I don't know if I'm being biased, but if we go here, one clean sheet in the next four games. I know I did say it's a bit unlikely because Tottenham are quite the team that concede a lot of goals. But there is a chance of that getting upgraded. Win two games, another upgrade, make three appearances. I think he can get it. So you're looking at a minimum 89 to 90 rated card in Pedro Poro. Now, I've used him as the 87 uh, card. And I think he's really, really good. He's really, really tidy on the ball. He is very aggressive. Let me look at his aggression. 80 aggression. I, I thought it was a bit more. Um, but with the plus four, because we've got the anchor on him. Um, he was just really nice to play with, Pauls. Um, again, won a lot of interceptions. Won a lot of tackles that I didn't expect him to. But that's probably because we've got the intercept play styles. We've got the, the bruiser which is nice. Those are the two main ones. Um, yeah, those are my two favorite defensive play styles anyway. So, and then he also had a good uh, pass on him. Now, he did play on stay back while attacking. So, he's not got any um, goals or assists, but I don't mind that <clears throat> um, with my fullbacks. I don't mind if my fullbacks aren't getting the assists. Um, I'd rather them kind of be more in that defensive side of play rather than the attacking side of play unless um i've got you on overlap and get forward or what 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 not so um yeah really tidy car twenty one thousand coins guys i do think if you've got a prem team that and you need a right back i would say this is definitely a card you can try um especially especially because this is a live card it can go up um cop or not I would probably say it depends. Let me explain. You've got you've got right backs in the prem like a Alexander Arnold. Um, I forgot what rating his best card is. Um, it's probably going to be better than this card. Um, but like I said, in the state that we are in with this card, I would say he's not. He Pedro Porro isn't better than like an Alexander Arnold or a Kyle Walker. Um, but copper not for now, I would say not, but, but, but I would probably wait until this car gets a, a couple more upgrades before making my final verdict. But obviously I've got to make my final verdict on the card that we have in front of us, which is the 87 rated. Um, so yeah, cop or not, I'm going to say not. I do think this car will be very nice with another two, three upgrades. Um, if this card gets to 90 rated, I do think it will be really, really good. Um, the passing will be in a really nice place. And yeah, guys. So I'm going to leave the video there. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button. Subscribe to join the family. And yeah, I'll catch you in the next video, guys. Take care.